welcome back guys so in this video i'll be trying out google play games on my steam deck running on windows 11 basically a budget windows pc using this application we can run our android games on our windows pc yes you heard it right so you need to download this application from this website i'll provide its link in the description of this video i'm not sure whether this application is available for everyone just today i received this email from google inviting me to test this application you can give it a try just click on download beta i have already downloaded it once the download is complete just go to download section there is the app that we just downloaded install it double click this app will automatically download the google play windows client once the download is complete the installation will start client started just need to sign in with a google account signed in just need to accept a few terms and condition as of now this application does not support any gamepad it does support mouse and keyboard and even touch controls will be demonstrating all of this stuff now before you can start playing any game need to enable one setting windows hypervisor platform show you how to do this just click on the windows icon here type program click on programs and features click on turn windows features on or off here just look for windows hypervisor platform in my case it's already enabled make sure this option is enabled then click on ok in order to disable this feature all you need to do is just uncheck this option that's it i'll keep it enabled as of now only a few games are supported by this application just show you the list just click on all games here for the purpose of this tutorial i will be showing you some gameplays of asphalt 9 and jetpack joyride in order to download a game just click on it and click on install i'll start the installation downloading let it download in the background let's check out the game library i will also download jetpack joyride kenshin impact is supported it's better to just run the native PC version of the game instead of this Android version running through this application. As of now, performance is a bit rough. Honka Impact 3rd Planets of the Caribbean. I own Great Autosport, it's not supported. Sword at Online, Integral Factor Game compatibility should improve in future In the background RTSS and Steam Deck tools are running I have connected my mouse and keyboard to Steam Deck via Bluetooth mode Asphalt 9 has been downloaded, ready to run Here it is mentioned, might not run well on this PC, we'll see Play Steam Deck tools performance overlay, refresh rate and FPS limit set to 60. Now this game supports both mouse and keyboard and also touch controls. You can access the Google Play interface settings by pressing the shift and tab keys together on your keyboard. Here you go. First we have the exit full screen option. Shortcut key for it is F11. Exit game. Change the volume from here. View game controls. Keyboard controls for this game. Check the game settings, display settings, visual quality set to default, frame rate set to 60 and these are the controls. You can play the game using your keyboard. This game does not use mouse. Touch screen controls. First I run the game using the keyboard controls. This is about to start. FPS is around 20, very poor performance. 10 FPS there. FPS in the game seems to be capped at 30. Yeah, it's nowhere near 60 FPS. Oh my god, game closed there for about a second or two. Using boost. I'm pressing the space bar key. Game slows down when there are other races around me. Try another race. 
this time I'll use the virtual controls touch screen touch drive these are the controls that I'll be using our car accelerates automatically the index is the support touch controls boost let go even the game is running slowly at least drop down to 20 yeah this game is a bit too much game is consuming almost 9 GB of RAM almost 1 GB of VRAM battery draw almost 12.5 watts you should be getting a play time of around 3 hours 14 minutes on a full battery cops are here ok 25 fps it's better to just run this game on your mobile phone so now i'll be running a less demanding game jetpack joyride Exit from full screen mode by pressing the F11 key. There you go. In order to play the game, I'll be using my mouse. Game just crashed. I'll try to restart it. It worked this time. There's my character. Using my jetpack by pressing the left mouse button. Much better performance than the last game. 30 FPS. I was expecting 60 FPS in this game. You may get better performance using this application on a high end PC. This game is trying only 9.5 watts of power. Got zapped there. Alright, guys, I'll end the video here. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.